When you call 911, how quickly do you expect to get a response? It took one Mount Pleasant woman three minutes and three phone calls to get this. And we're extremely busy. Um, and I'm sorry, what, was, what if I was getting stabbed in the throat right now? A home near Lauren Schuler was broken into recently, so when she saw a suspicious man walking through her backyard, she got scared and dialed 911 for help. As you can see from her phone logs, the first phone call took 33 seconds, and she says no one ever picked up. The second, 45 seconds, still no answer. It was not until the third try that someone picked up her call. Honestly, I was dumbfounded. I mean, I, I'm not calling for pizza delivery during the Super Bowl. I'm, I'm calling 911. I took Schuler's concerns to the director at the Charleston County Emergency Operations Center. He tells me that 21 people were working that night, but only five were answering phones while handling five emergencies. Others were also actually operating as dispatchers and working the radios as well. I asked the director why the center wasn't more prepared. He says it's impossible to know if they'll be busier than normal. It's a problem anytime a call is not answered. However, there's no way to staff or to prepare for the number of calls you might receive. The director says that they are exceeding state and national standards. Standards, Lake says, that don't require a center to answer every call. When someone calls 911, Someone should answer that phone every time. But they didn't this time. It, it didn't this time, and we don't all the time. Schuler says being too busy for her call is not an excuse. Honestly, the one entity on this planet that I don't feel like, I'm sorry, we're too busy right now, should ever be an acceptable answer is 911. The director says Schuler should have stayed on the call longer. Her call would have been answered in approximately 20 seconds more. Although it is a long time to be on the line calling 911, the call would have been answered. Every 911 call is very, very important. And we understand that, you know, when people call 911, it's the worst day of their life. And even though it may be the worst day of your life, there are no national standards that require every 911 phone call to be answered. According to documents provided to us from the Consolidated 911 Center in Charleston County, these are the standards they follow. As you can see, none of these standards require the center to answer 100% of calls. The vice president of operations for one of the agencies in charge of setting those standards says they have to be realistic about expectations. We recognize that every 911 call is very important and we want to try and attain to the, get to the point where we can answer every one of them. But we have to understand, and everyone has to understand, the reality is that sometimes we can't get to them all. Records provided from Charleston County show that while the Consolidated 911 Center has failed to meet the mark on some of those standards in the past, they are on track to meet them this year. But 911 centers can't be held responsible for failing to reach these standards. We are not a, uh, a regulatory uh, body. We can only provide these best practices for 911 centers to utilize to try and attain uh, the best quality of service and level of standard of care uh, for the people in which they serve. One of the biggest problems centers like the one in Charleston face is when callers hang up before their call is answered. When you call 911, you stay on the line until the operator or the call taker answers the call and so that you can get the best service that you need and you're not try and you don't take resources away from others who are trying to do the same